When you are making a decision about where to find the best set of personal services for memory care, these are the six most important things to look for. A high staff to resident ratio. Activities for every day of the week. Experienced staff trained specifically in memory care. A home-like environment. A large backyard with walking paths. Home-cooked meals with fresh fruits and vegetables. So, my name is John Treby. I am the manager at the Breckenridge, and I'm from Lexington. So, I grew up in Lexington. I went to Glendover for elementary and Tate's Creek Junior, Henry Clay High School, UK for law school. I'm a part of Lexington, and I'm pretty proud of the Breckenridge and what Breckenridge provides for Lexington. I'm Kim Treby, and I am one of the owners of Breckenridge, which is a memory care facility in Lexington, Kentucky. So in the mid-90s, I started working at the Alzheimer's Association, and I was running their um, programs, working with their families, doing helpline and support groups, and also um, working with people directly with um, the disease and running a daycare program that they had at the time. No one really cares what I do or what Kim does on a day-to-day -day basis. What they really care about is that there is staff that is going to take care of their loved one every day, just like yesterday, and the same tomorrow. I believe that our staff at the Breckenridge are there for so long because they're satisfied. They enjoy what they're doing. They're passionate about taking care of someone that has dementia or memory loss. We, um, we also look for the right staff, people that are really going to um, fit in to the milieu and want to be there. And we train them and help them, give them tools for their toolbox so that they can be successful working with someone with dementia. And that's a huge piece of it. And we wanted it to have a big backyard and feel comfortable where people can, can come and live um, instead of feeling like it's this big facility with long hallways and difficult for people that, you know, if you've got memory loss, it's, it's hard to navigate how to find your room or where to go or what time the meals are, just basic things that we forget. I really wrestled with the decision of what would be the best place and where to move my dad when I was going through or have been going through this. Um, he was really high functioning and, you know, could have been a, assisted living, a regular assisted living would have been appropriate for him. But I knew that long term that wasn't going to be successful. And the reason is because the staff many times don't understand how to work with someone that has any kind of memory loss. They isolate, the person isolates in their room, their apartment, um, and honestly, the places are just too big. The memory care facility provided the most comprehensive package of care that was focused on his needs, that was going to take care of his needs, not only initially, but throughout the course of the disease. So Kim and I make a good team. We both love the work, and we're always talking about our residents and their care. It's unusual for two people to be matched like that. And I don't know of too many other places that have that going. 